Hi, I'm Jeff Matura. Welcome to RCTV Live. We're coming to you from Fort Myers, Florida for the 2012 Winter Nats 1A scale and 110 scale Nitro. country the economy's picking up so people are able to travel a little bit more very competitive this year I mean ultra competitive the best nitro race on the planet we try hard thank you every year the world 18 scale nitro on road community converges in sunny Fort Myers Florida for the winter naps competition this year was fierce even making the A here is considered an amazing accomplishment, let alone finishing in the top three. We had an opportunity to talk to some of the big guns trackside right before the main. I'm with world champion renowned driver Ralph Birch right now who also runs uh, RC America. Ralph, how have you guys done here at the Winter Nats so far? Uh, we've had a pretty good week, at least I have. Uh, I ended up TQ in a uh, touring car and then I also TQ'd 1.8 scale, so it's been a pretty good week for me so far. You can't do much better going into the manger on a pole position for both. How confident are you that your cars will stay the way they were for the qualifiers? Uh, I tested last night with the, the touring car with main tires and the car was uh, really good. So uh, pretty confident that uh, you know, we'll at least be uh, able to run up front in, uh, in touring car. I mean, it's going to be DJ's car was really good. Uh, Polly's car is really good. So, I mean, it should be a pretty good battle in uh, touring car, eight scale car. Uh, the car's really good, but we had some trouble with an engine last night, so we're having to go with uh, a different engine than I qualified with. So, not too sure what's going to happen happen there, but uh, hopefully uh, everything will go all right. We ran this morning. The engine that we put in seemed okay. Not quite as good as the one I qualified with, but it seemed pretty good. So, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. With this race, 45 minutes at Fort Myers is about survival half the time. So, you, know, you, you just got to stay in the race. What engine did you put in it? It's the same exact engine that you had? An, uh, yeah, another, another Max engine. Uh, we just uh, we just had trouble with the rod. We were out there testing and probably better then than in the main, I guess. So uh, hopefully everything will be okay. This is also a big testing ground for you guys. What new products are you using? I understand there's something on the 8th scale car. Yeah, I have uh, the new chassis that will be coming out on the, the new RX-8. Uh, it's a little thinner. As uh, far as the, the way it's cut out on the side and stuff, so it just creates more flex throughout the chassis, creates a little more traction front and rear, and uh, so far it seems to be working really good. Ralph, it's always a pleasure to watch you race. Congratulations on your two TQs, and good luck in the main. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Paul, you just came off a big win at the Snowbirds in 12th scale. You're here at the Winter Nats getting ready. How do you feel? Um, I feel pretty good. I think the... You know, Snowbirds, I've never really won a 12 scale race before, so to do it there and the way I did it, I was, uh, it was good for me for sure. And the big thing about it, though, is you did it on your own tires. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I've got, they're called Gravity RC G12 uh, 12 scale tires. Um, that's, I started doing those January 1st. It's been a project of mine from last year that carried into this year, and um, they're in production now. Not very high volume because it's really hard for me to keep up, but... Um, but they seem to work really good, and to go to go be able to win the Snowbirds on them, I, I think proves that they're quality. It's a perfect carpet tire, then? 
yeah, I, I think so. It builds a lot of traction. You know, there's they definitely have good grip and um, consistent throughout the run, and they're really re resilient to chunking as well, uh, which is a big thing in Tulsa. I mean, I, I didn't chunk one tire at, the whole time at the Snowbirds. Okay, and Gravity RC is your brand. You also have a liquid gravity, which is tires additive. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, the tire additive was something that I did last year. Um, it's called liquid gravity. There's two formulas. There's LG1 and LG2. Um, LG2 is by far the most popular. It's a thicker, oily type tire track additive, and um, it's not good for carpet. It's really only good for asphalt on rubber tire and foam tire. So here at the Winter Nats, there's quite a few drivers that are using the LG2, and, um, and that, you know, works really well. Well, good. You heard it, and, and there's going to be a carpet version coming soon. When can we expect that, maybe? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm still in the total testing phase with the carpet stuff. I've had ten different versions that I haven't released yet. So once I find, you know, once I find that sauce that I think is, you know, really good, then then it'll be going in a bottle real quick. It sounds good. I'm sure it'll be a big demand, just like your tires. Hey, good luck. You're getting ready to run your main here with your X-ray. Good luck to you. I, I know this is going to be big. Hey, 12 scale guys, it's gaining the momentum. Give these a try. And and 12 scale oval. Take a look at the Gravity RC 12 scale tires and liquid gravity for asphalt. Thanks, Jeff. I don't want to sound like an infomercial, but you're not going to find a better quality, better designed, better performing touring car on the market anywhere. The X-Ray 2012 T3 is amazing. See for yourself. The 2012 X-Ray T3 has a tremendous race winning heritage. Developed by Martin Hootie, the T3 is a blend of perfectly balanced and shaped premium graphite that was specifically designed with LiPo battery technology in mind. The newly shaped 2mm top deck provides maximum steering, traction and cornering. New lightweight gear diffs are leak free, maintenance free, and super smooth. Newly designed shock towers optimize and increase on power. The new chassis layout features more space for electronics and a new vertical servo position that firmly anchors the servo to the chassis. 38% lighter than standard drive shafts help reduce rotating mass and improve drivetrain efficiency. Black anodized CNC machined aluminum turnbuckles and super smooth and ultra narrow Kevlar drive belts help round out some of the new features of the 2012 T3. Don't forget some of the best shocks in the industry and X-Ray's own VIP customer service treatment which allows access to a virtual setup sheet database or you can upload your own or even ask an X-Ray support team member or factory team driver any questions you have. Now that is service. The mix of the finest race winning ingredients and no compromise engineering combined to provide an unrivaled platform to drive you straight into the winner's circle. No extra parts or hop-ups are needed for this car to perform. Out of the box, expect silky smooth acceleration, tight exact cornering on and off power, all with as many adjustments as you could ever hope for. As with any RC car, make one adjustment at a time so you can see what works best for you. It's not hard at all to dial yourself right out of where you are trying to be. Like everything else X-Ray we have reviewed, everything on this car is top notch. The materials, workmanship, instructions, support, just everything. We cannot recommend this touring car enough. If you want the best, you just have to buy one. The X-Ray T3 2012 is available at your local hobby shop. One of our local hot shoes at Jeff's RC Studio has been driving the T3 2012 for several months now. Here's what he had to say.
Bob, you've been running the 2012 T3 from Team X-Ray for about a month now. What do you? What's your overall impression? My impression? Outstanding. The vehicle's very durable. And what are some of the features that you like the most? I like the features of once you set it up and run it, beat it up a little bit, it still stays pretty much where you put it. It's a tank. You know, they're, they're set the gold standard. X-Ray is the gold standard for quality. How about the materials used throughout the car? High quality, high caliber. Top notch, would you say this is higher? I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but I've been in the industry a long time. This is the gold standard for touring cars. Definitely. Now, when you ran other cars before, was it difficult to get this one set up? Not really. Alex, it was pretty good. Just to have to tune it to uh, whatever track conditions or tracks you are running on. Okay, well, would you, if, if someone was new in the sport or looking to get away from a different car, would you recommend this to them? Highly. It's out of the box. I mean, I'm not a know-it-all with the all-wheel drive vehicles, and uh, it was pretty easy to drive right out of the box. Hey, that's good enough uh, testimony for me. More RCTV Live after this. Thanks, Bob. We have speed control tonight. I'd like to thank Paradise Hobbies. Uh, everybody knows about Paradise. Around Colonial, Max will be here in the next five years. He's here. He's here. Big, big thanks to Paradise. Big thanks to Parma PSE. Parma's been great. This is kind of a bunch of us tonight. Everybody here is going away with someone. The only thing I'm going to let you know is Ross cannot win the speed controller because everybody will think it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 does, he does not own the track. A lot of people think he does, but I think if he wins it, there'll be a lot of more feelings. <laughs> he can win anything else but the speed controller. Um, I'd also like to thank Left Hander. They sent us some stuff. You guys know Hayes and Left Hander. He's a great guy. Look up Left Hander. He specializes in one thing, old. And he's a really a good human being. Uh, I want you to have fun tonight, which it should be. If you're a good sportsman, if you're three laps down, get the hell out of the way. Just get over and talk to each other on the driver's stand. There's nothing wrong. Some of you might be old school and hate being talked to. If I'm coming, you know me. Mini Sprint. TQ, first time ever out, Mike Carruth.
Oval racing is easy to get started in. All you need is an RC car or truck and an open space to run on. If you have never run oval, give it a try because it's a ton of fun. Check with your local hobby shop, club, or track to see if they have an oval program. If not, you can always start one. We will go back to our regular format next episode including tech tips. We just wanted you to experience Oval in this special RCTV Live episode. our sponsors because they made this race possible that's left-hander rc if it goes left talk to hayes from left-hander rc they're the best parma pse parma makes the best servo tape in the industry period that's all i use they have fast color they have bodies they have you name it they make it parma pse and paradise hobbies in colonial if you're in fort myers florida ever visit Paradise Hobbies, they're awesome. Speaking of Paradise, I got Max over here. Max is the general manager of Paradise, but he's also one of the best racers in the area, maybe in the state. He helps everybody out, and right now he's sitting on TQ and F1 and what else? Uh, Hooters class, I believe. It is Hooters. Now that's 13.5. You're actually running a World GT car. How does it handle? And this, is, I understand, is your first time. As long as you've been doing this, you've never run carpet oval before. Never carpet oval before. Uh, World GT car is actually working pretty good. It just has a disadvantage for a lean over in certain corners, or actually all the corners if you cut them too tight. But overall, it's a cool class to run, and you could switch from road course to oval, although the oval guys are fast, man. They are dirty. We got some hardcore oval guys. We talked to Tony B earlier. Now F1, that's your forte. I know, I know F1 you like. I know 12 scale you like. But tonight you got F1. How does it feel going to the main? You're sitting on the pole position. You got a good start. Anybody got have anything for you out there? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Definitely Mike and Scotto and actually uh, Jason too. They're all good drivers. Through the qualifiers, they're picking up times like crazy, and it's really hard to get away from them. Okay, well, he's very humble. He helps everybody. You know, this is what makes RC great is, and I'm not just saying this, Max uh, and I just met a short while ago. He's turned into a good friend, and he's a great guy because he helps everybody at the track. He doesn't keep any secrets, but he's still dominating, and that's what keeps people coming back because we need more Maxes in the world. Hey, good luck. Don't, Thanks, if I run against you in F1, good luck except for first place. All right. Thanks, brother. All right, come on in here. Let's see what these guys are going. We're getting ready to do the mains. Scotto's working on his car. Let's just say hi to him real quick. 
I don't want to bother them. Scotto, you have the nicest looking F1s here. You always have the nicest body. What's your secret? If, if you had to give a short, short little bleep on why your cars are so beautiful and what a guy can do to do it, would you say taking your time? Take your time. Attention to detail. Take your time. It's not a hurry. You know, your hurry's at the racetrack. But at home, when you're working on your cars, just take your time, get everything right, get yourself prepared before you leave the house. Sounds like sage advice. Those are certainly beautiful cars. This is Scotto's first time on Carpet Oval, and he's actually doing great because it's not as easy as it looks. Thank you, my brother. Good luck. Tony, you dominated. Uh, what happened? Uh, after a couple minutes, man, this car just started getting loose on me, and I just let it get from me, put it in the wall, and it took a whole, you know, once you're in the wall. I didn't get a chance. Once you're in the wall, you're down a lap. And just like that. Greg, good run. First time out, man. Thank you, sir. Good job. Awesome track, by the way. It's fun. <laughs> For all of us here at RCTV Live, I'm Jeff Maturo. Thanks for watching. Bob, you've been running the. <laughs> Just hold it like this, so you're not, so your arms aren't holding it up. No, put put it against your boobs and let your stomach hold it. No, just I don't have any. Just hold it like this. Is he still in shot? Okay. Bob, you've been running, running. Bob, you've been running really the tunable. How about the quality of the material itself? The quality is definitely awesome. It's Swedish. That's where I'm from. And it's actually Slovakian, Bob, but that's okay. You did a great job. We're going to do that one again. <laughs> this is going to be on the... Bob, don't worry about the Swedish stuff. It yeah, no, it isn't. It's Slovakian. Uh, yeah, may God strike me dead. It's Slovakian. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's Swiss. That, that's a Swiss. That's the steel from Switzerland. All right, that's one. Take 12. We still, I promise we're going to do this. That was cute, though. That's going on our gag reel. Ready? All right, we'd like to thank our sponsors because they made this race possible. We're talking left-hander RC. Talk to Hayes at left-hander. Son of a bitch. All right, I'm going to walk, though. You ready?